A pit bull is in full attack mode on a subway. How in the world do you escape a horror like this in such a confined space? You can see the dog's jaws tightly clenched on the sneakers being worn by the woman in the red jacket. She's desperately trying to get the dog to let go. We asked veterinarian Dr. Jeff Werber what else they could do. You could take their back legs if you can and lift them off the ground. If they, if they start losing that sense of stability, they may release as well. Authorities are now trying to identify the dog's owner. Like most cities across the country, dogs are not permitted on the subways in New York unless they're small enough to fit into a carrier like this little guy. Now, large dogs are permitted if they're seeing eye dogs or service dogs for people with disabilities. Witnesses said the moment the man boarded the subway with the pit bull on a leash, everyone tensed up. An eyewitness says the dispute started when the woman in the red jacket found the dog actually sitting on the seat next to her. She asked you to take the dog off. Yeah. She pushes it. Um, what is this dog doing on the chair? Like, and he's just, he's like, yo, do not push my dog. And she does it one more time and he just goes swinging. Witnesses say the dog's owner never instructed the pit bull to let go. You're not telling the dog to release. Finally, the woman's sneaker came off and the owner had the nerve to throw it at her. He also argued with other irate passengers. The quick tips I would say would be to, to remain calm. Uh, don't agitate the dog even more. Don't scream. Don't get the dog worked up and, and certainly ask for help. Get the dog on the <laughs>